All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brad. You're watching the Unboxing Authority YouTube channel. I got to show you something here. So, I went to a retail store the other day. I'm not going to say uh, what retail store it was. I'm just going to let you guys figure that out. Okay, it's not actually really important. It wasn't Staples. Next time, maybe we'll do Staples. But retail stores don't like to let you make videos inside the stores of their products because they don't want anybody to promote their products and advertise them for free. They they believe in paying for their advertising or whatever. So anyway, the first thing I'll show you, we're talking about computers today, buying a computer in a retail store. But the first thing I'll show you is the wall deluxe trimmers. Okay, these things fall apart. They've got, I think, a five-year warranty on them or something. And some of them do, you know, from wall. And they're worth every penny of that $30 you pay for them. I just got to tell you that really quick. Now, something else, a good computer accessory here is a surge protector and these surge protectors i'm not sure if i got pictures of the back they have i think just enough jewels of uh surge protection here to just kind of cut it okay yeah 1200 so 1200 jewels on the full size surge protector and it looks like 1200 on the other as well so 1200 jewels it's not the most but it it should work and i believe they're warranted so equipment a connected equipment guarantee and that connected equipment guarantee i'm not sure how much it actually covers um i'm not sure i see a dollar amount on here usually in the old days they would put you know dollar amounts on packaging and tell you how much the equipment would cover um now we're looking at the iBuy power gaming desktop the co900 iv2 now, it may help for you to know that this store that has these computers is right across the street from a Walmart. And that might have something to do with this. Okay, so this computer here is the one that the Costco magazine recommended the most. Yes and no. So, first of all, we're looking at this. It's got, um, then you go back a slide, yeah. It's got an Intel i7 9700F processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, 2 terabyte hard drive. 440 gigabyte a solid state drive nvidia geforce rtx 2060 8 gigabyte super graphics card 802 level wireless and four rgb fans with just these specs right here this sounds like a great gaming pc it does not sound like a great video editing pc because it's only got 16 gigabytes of memory and you could edit videos with only 16 gigabytes of memory and render them in 4k ultra hd it's just not a good idea you should have at least 32 gigabytes okay to do that i'm just telling you from experience now, the four RGB fans, that's that's a, a clue here. Okay, so the problem with this computer is that it uses liquid cooling inside. I've got more pictures of it here. See, there's me and there's the, the thing. Okay, so it's got this liquid cooler inside. It's disposable. All these new computers like this, as far as I know, in the main retail stores come with disposable cooling devices. Now, that means this computer is good for like two years, maybe. And then that coolant in there goes bad and you can't change it. If you try to change it, it ruins the pump. It ruins everything. I've tried to do it. Okay. And somebody might have done it successfully, but it doesn't work for me. So they, in my opinion, they would have been better off to put a really good cooler on here. Heat sink cooler, like, you know, almost like a Fryzen or something, of course, but for Intel. And do something like that instead of putting this liquid cooling system on here. Yes, it looks good. And yes, maybe that's going to help a little kid or somebody that's inexperienced look at it and say, oh yeah, I want that. I want that. And maybe down the road, they are planning to put a different cooling system in here, but it's just not a long-term solution. Okay. Yes, it's a gaming thing, but you know, I've got a Super Nintendo and um, it's an original Super Nintendo and it still works and it's 2020 now. Okay, and the Super Nintendo was made long time ago, back when I was like seven years old. So, you know, thinking of a gaming computer, it should last longer than two years. And if you don't change this or this pump goes out, thing goes bad, the whole computer's going to be bad anyway. And you're paying $1,299.99 for this thing. I don't know if I could build a better machine with that amount of money. I'd have to check it out. There we go again, just showing that there's liquid cooling. Oh, and you can see that GeForce RTX MSI uh, video card in there. And so now we have the Omen gaming desktop with 6 gigabyte graphics card, okay? Intel i5 9400F processor, 16 gigabytes DDR4 memory, 1 terabyte actual hard drive, which is good, and a solid state drive, so 256 gigabyte solid state drive. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660, which should be okay, and a 6 gigabyte GDR5 graphics card. 
802.11 wireless Bluetooth and 4.2. Now, there's, if I remember right, there's a big problem with this computer. 16 gigabytes of memory. Let's take a look. What's inside this? Oh, look at that right there. One stick of HyperX memory, not even dual channel. Now, there's your uh, solid state drive right there. You can see it plugged in. There's no cooler on that solid state. It looks like it's a single chip almost, maybe more than one. Then look, it's a full length card with just a little bit of, of memory on there. That's got to be some cheap memory because as far as I know, fitting that much memory in that space, there's, there's got to be a shortcut there somewhere. I Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. but Now, the other problem here is the uh, heat sink. This is what you expect to find in Walmart, which is right across the street. Okay, Remember, they got to compete. This they got to compete the same price as Walmart because too many people that are un, you know ignorant buy computers in Walmart. I walked into that Walmart and the salespeople in that Walmart actually told me not to buy computers in Walmart. I was just going in there to do the same type of thing, take pictures. And I wasn't really confident about it, didn't know if I could get away with it, and I bugged out and you know I could go back and do it again. But I'm not interested in promoting Walmart. Uh, Walmart is for a lot of reasons. I, I just don't like Walmart. Anyways, there's a heat sink there. It's tiny. It's a stock heat sink. It's not going to work for a gaming PC. And I think, uh, what's this? Oh, gaming desktop. And look, it doesn't have a gaming cooling system at all. And they said, oh yeah, well, that's because it's a little less. You pay three, $400 more and we'll give you a liquid cooler that's going to die in a couple of years. Yeah. Okay. That's just not good. I mean, if, if the retail stores really wanted to compete, they'd let people like me in there to make videos. That's number one. And number two, they would produce better stuff. And oh my goodness, look at the chipset. There's no heat sink on the chipset. I haven't seen that before in a really long time in any modern computer. That'll blow up. I, I'm not kidding you. I've had chipsets on motherboards that have heat sinks and they blow up because they're not getting cooled enough. This thing, there's no cooling there. I mean... If you were doing serious data transfer or anything serious with this NVMe memory here, if, assuming it is NVMe and not uh, SATA or something, there would be, uh, you know, serious traffic going through this South Bridge here. I mean, if you're just playing games, it might be okay, but that's, I don't know. And it can't keep, this can't keep up with it anyway, because it's got that cooler on it. So that's just, oh man. Yeah. Keep reinventing Hewlett Packard. Yeah. Okay. So here we got a Dell computer, and this Dell is nine hundred forty nine dollars. It's ninth generation Core i seven processor, so it's it's supposed to be as good as the other one almost. Four gigabytes of NVIDIA GeForce GTX sixteen fifty graphics card. That's not bad. Um, sixteen gigabytes of memory, one terabyte hard drive plus two fifty six SSD. Uh, how much memory does it have? Does it tell us how much memory it has? How much RAM? I don't see other than the graphics card. I don't really see it. So. We might have to try to look this up online. Um, let's let's take a look. Oh my goodness, look at this. That looks like, if I'm not being deceived by my photographs, because I saw one of these at the store, this looks like a huge Dell trademark um, heatsink. If that's what this is, if this is the right one, because there's two of these here, um, then this one is built better than the liquid cooling one as far as longevity. Let's uh, keep looking here. Yeah, this is the one. See, this is the bigger one, the Dell. And uh, it, it four gigabytes graphics card, but they don't tell us how much RAM it's got. That's the only problem. And there's no monitor here, so you can't. There's nothing connected. You can't uh, find out, you know, how much RAM it has. Uh, we might be able to look online or in that magazine that they've got. So here is the Dell Inspiron i5. You know, compared to that other one we saw that didn't have any heat sink on it hardly at all. i5 940, 12 gigabytes DDR4 memory, so it's got 12 gigabytes of RAM. 120 gigabytes solid state drive, one terabyte drive, 802.11 wireless, DVD writer, front two USB 3.1, back. Okay, so they're not really telling us on either one of these how many sticks of RAM are in there. I don't think, you know, they're going to tell us. You got to see inside it like the other ones. So on our Dell Inspiron, let's see if I can keep going here. This one has a stock heat sink. If I, yes, this is the one with the stock heat sink. So it's built just as well as the omen gaming desktop so that dell over there is built just as good as the omen gaming desktop so you know we might ex but the thing is dell seems like they're a lot more professional at least i mean yes dell and hewlett packard everybody builds their cheap budget computers but this this really looks and because dell is able to make their computers in quantity uh there should be higher quality because of the lower price um now i will tell you i looked a little bit at laptops as well 
This is a laptop, a Lenovo 15.6 inch laptop with 6 gigabytes graphics card, Intel i7 9750H processor, 16 gigabytes of memory, which is good. And that could be one stick, it could be two sticks, I don't know. One terabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive, 512 gigabytes solid state hard drive. This is sounding just as good as the desktops we've seen so far. Um, the processor might not be as great. I'm not really sure. I'm not a huge Intel expert here. Let's see here. This is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX uh, 1660 Ti, 60 gigabytes for the graphics card, which is plenty. 144 hertz, full HD display, and wireless, of course. So here it is. And they call it Legion, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, so you got your NVIDIA thing here. You got your Intel. This, this looks like a nice, clean little guy. I don't know if I got pictures of all the ports on it. It looks like you got a port on here. It looks like there's no dish drive. Once the ports look like they're in the back. Yeah, I didn't really get a lot of pictures of that. I apologize. So then we got a Dell XPS 13 as i7 as well. Uh, 1065G7 processor. 16 gigabytes of LPDDR4 memory. I don't know what the LP means. I guess I need to do more research and get more experienced on that. As a 512 gigabyte solid state drive. Weight 2.9 pounds. No hard drive, apparently. Intel Iris Plus graphics. So this one's... Definitely cheaper. And yet the price is $1,700. Let's, let's look at that old price on the other one. $1,999, we get a dedicated NVIDIA and all that. So apparently these guys think that an Intel Iris Plus graphics is better than NVIDIA. I don't know. And there's no regular hard drive. So Dell and Lenovo, you know, I'm thinking Lenovo did it better. Is that who, who it was? Yeah, Lenovo. I think Lenovo did a better job, but that's that's just me. Okay, so here's the Dell. It's smaller, and it's yeah they're charging more. Maybe that's the reason they're charging more because it's more compact. You know, the smaller computers get, it seems like the more they charge to fit more power in a smaller space. So, with that being said, it is hard, it is easier to get rid of the heat coming from an Intel um, graphics card, I think, and it, less power demand than an Nvidia. So probably that's the reason why. Again, I don't think I got pictures of the ports. Nope. Microsoft 13.5 inch Surface Laptop, thousand bucks basically. No specs. There it is. I don't think I want that. I mean, if somebody put one in my hands, I'd give it a try and see what it could do and what it's useful for. It'd probably be good for some office work until it gets out of date. And then maybe you could install Linux on it probably. I don't know. So here's a Chromebook. Now, Chromebooks are usually a scam, which they're worth the $200 or whatever. You know, they're worth about as much as a cell phone, except they can't make calls and they can't do things cell phones can do. I don't think they have a GPS or anything in them. If they do, I don't think you have access to it. The NSA might, but you don't. Originally, it's supposed to be 300 bucks, right? Not really a lot of things here, except it's 14-inch and it's Hewlett-Packard. And there it is, your wonderful Chromebook. Okay. So we're looking at all these and then back to the wall deluxe razors again, which are worth, you know, the price. And there you go with the, the Chromebook with the $200 price. The prices don't be fooled. I have two relatives that purchased Chromebooks and they were fooled by the price. So to recap on this, I think that the best deal in Costco, the surge protectors are pretty decent. I don't know how much, uh, you know, they protect as far as the price, but that one's no good. We found a Dell. This is it. This is it. This is the Dell right here. The Dell XPS 8930 uh, XPS desktop computer with 4 gigabyte graphics card. Doesn't tell us how much RAM it's got. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. 16 gigabytes of memory. I missed that the first time. Just as much as our as this thing. This uh, Omen computer that's got 16 gigabytes as well. So, Definitely, I would get the Dell over the Omen, and the Dell, I think it's less expensive, $949.99. So it can't be worse than the Omen, I wouldn't think. I mean, maybe it can be. Maybe there's some proprietary Dell stuff on there that makes it worse. I, I don't know. Where did our that uh, first one go, the green machine? So that one was $12.99, and it has 16 gigabytes of memory as well so that's interesting everything's got 16 gigabytes of ram which like i said really isn't enough for doing um serious work if i remember right this one had two sticks of ram in it i could see it through the window but for some reason i can't see it here well anyways thanks for watching the video and yeah that's i, I just want you to know this is how i if i was somebody told me justin i'll buy you any computer you want in in this store if you walk in there and you know give you the cash if I was going to pick this one, it would have to be because I was going to upgrade it.
because I was going to upgrade the cooling system. Otherwise, I would have to go for that Dell, um, that Dell XPS here that's originally worth $1,099.99. It just looks like it's built better as far as the cooling system. Yeah, I'd probably still want to upgrade the cooling system, but why pay more for a cooling system that I'm going to replace? That just doesn't make sense to me. Now, four gigabytes of, on the graphics card, a 1650. And that first one, uh, let's see, is a 1660. And it also has six gigabytes. Uh, did the other one have four? Um, the only th and, and look at this. It, it's got a DVD drive. Oh, my goodness. Where's my, where's my arrows? Can we? Yes. Look at it has a DVD drive in the front and all of these ports. The other one has three large fans in the front and this one's got all this connectivity a power button it's with this nice black slick front here and that first one is a green nightmare i mean i'm not saying that the green lights don't look good you know if as long as you can turn them off when you want to go to sleep and leave your computer on the the green lights aren't aren't terrible the connectivity on this is going to be up on the top where dirt and stuff can get into it if it's even there so they definitely advertise the ports there, front and back. All right, so in conclusion on these four computers that I saw at Costco, supposed to be gaming desktop computers, the green machine, the iBuyPower wins, and the reason it wins is because of the graphics card. The graphics card in it is an RTX 2060, and it smokes the 1660s and 1650s and the other ones. Otherwise, as far as front-end connectivity, having a DVD drive, having cooling that's not going to wear out in two or three years, I would have to give it to the Dell. But because the graphics card is just so much faster in the iBuyPower, it is definitely worth the price compared to the Dell. And, you know, it only costs somewhere around probably 100 bucks to put in a really large um, heat sink if you didn't want to install a professional cooling system or replace the cooling system that's in it every two or three years. So because of that, I have to give it to them. Now, keep in mind, you can't tell what motherboard is in a lot of these computers. You don't know how many memory slots a lot of them have. As far as I can tell, there was only one or two computers there that looked like they were Walmart quality on the shelf. So way to go, Costco. I understand Costco is right across the street from Walmart. They're trying to compete by selling the same bologna that Walmart does. You know, I got to say, if a customer looks through the side of that um, red computer, yeah, the computer that was red with the bad heat sink and no heat sink on the chipset, and they buy that, if they're intelligent enough to know what they're looking at, it's their fault. It's their fault. If, if, a, if a salesman misleads them, then it's the salesman's fault. But, you know, at least the side is clear, and they can see that everything inside except well, yeah, even the graphics card is junk on that computer, okay, compared to the iBuyPower. The extra three or $400 for the iBuyPower, definitely way to go in this case. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And just bless you. Please click the link in the description of the video and go to christiancourts.com. Click the donate button because we need your help. Get the Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet. It's available anywhere. There's T-Mobile or AT&T signal within five miles of a cell tower or 20 miles with a repeater, okay? It's really fast, especially in rural areas or areas where there's no other people around. It's just super, super fast, okay? The other thing that you need to do is check out Straight Talk. I've got a coupon for Straight Talk, and if you use that coupon, you're going to get a month free worth of bonus points when you sign up as long as you enroll for the bonus point program that they've got, the rewards. And every time that you make a purchase, you're going to get more points as well. And then I'm going to get points. So if 10 of you sign up for Straight Talk, I should get two years of free service worth of points. And you guys should get two months of free service each. It works on Sprint. It works on Verizon. And it works on T-Mobile and AT&T. Okay, it works on all four networks. You can bring your own phone. You can bring your existing phone, especially if they're unlocked, uh, over to Straight Talk. And you can switch between networks. All you got to do is have either a GSM phone, a Sprint phone, or a Verizon phone, and you can switch between the networks. AT&T and T-Mobile are both GSM, so you can switch between them. I don't know if uh, Sprint is, but it's a really good deal. I pay $38 a month for unlimited texting and calling anywhere in the United States, and I also get two gigabytes of data plus unlimited slower data after that, which I've never used all the data as far as I know. Uh, you can get bigger, better plans. You can get a fully unlimited plans. 
uh, from Straight Talk, but I only pay $38 a month. I use my Blazing Hog for all the other internet, okay? And you guys should do the same. You can also check out how to build a moped.com and how to win in court. Those are great resources as well. As well, please go to donate and help me out. I need a new computer and there's other things I need so I can keep bringing you guys videos. So thanks again and God bless you. Bye.